Fishing Simulator was a game that I played a long time ago in the COVID times. I grinded the heck out of it, reaching like level 74 or something. Then I quit and never once turned back on it. Then I wondered, how much could I actually get done in one day? I have a different account that has never touched the play button of Fishing Simulator until now. In this video, I'll be playing Fishing Simulator on Roblox for 24 hours to see how much I can get done. This is how it started. Upon starting, I was immediately surprised by the title. It was cleaner looking and it actually worked pretty well and not buggy. I didn't know that there would be a whole tutorial and starting island, but I was pleasantly surprised by the island and how it looked and it was better and less emptier than before. The tutorial just showed the main parts of the island which were the boat shop and the store. These are the most important places of the game which I'll explain as I get there. I wasn't interested in the tutorial and wanted to get straight into fishing. Let me tell you right now that the fishing experience from my other account to this one made me so sad. You start out with the basic fishing rod and it's nimble. With one too many clicks, you'll lose a fish like right away. And I have a really good rod on my other account. But I had to stick to this rod for a while until I was able to go to the next island. The boat shop has a bunch of boats and surfboards. They're quite pricey, but will help a lot when going whale hunting and killing Moby Wood. It's one of the most important investments in this game and I needed to save up for a decent boat. I was going for the good old yacht. Surprisingly enough, the yacht was cheaper than a literal surfboard. I was actually flabbergasted at the price difference. Either way, I had to make 26k fishing, otherwise I won't be able to make it to any other island. I continued fishing on Jackson Port until at level 10, I unlocked Eruption Island. Before moving there, let me run down the list of the islands. Now I know there's new islands, but sadly I didn't make it there. You have to reach a certain level to get to each island. You start on Port Jackson, then you can go up to Eruption Island when you're level 10. The monster's burrow, where you fight Moby Wood, can be accessed at any level. I didn't know I could have just used the hot air balloon to fast travel to Eruption Island right away, so I kept fishing at Port Jackson until I was level 12. This revelation helped out a lot because I needed a special rod from Eruption Island. Eruption Island has a special obby in the volcano that players can complete to get the lava rod. The lava rod isn't that special of a rod, but it's better than the regular old fishing rod. Oh yeah, whoever thought of the weird jiggle physics for the fishing rod needs to get fired. I tried getting a better fishing rod at Port Jackson and I got the baguette. That thing was swinging, almost inappropriately. It's the weirdest detail they added but shouldn't have added it honestly. So I went fishing a lot more until I reached level 20 where I could finally access the Shadow Isles. The Shadow Isles was the island that back in the day I would grind levels at. But first, I needed to get myself the yacht. It was a real quick purchase to get it, but to upgrade it to the max requires almost 6 times the base price. From that excruciating purchase, I went to the Shadow Isles. On the island, you can take up a quest that allows you to get some of the secret cave fish that the island has to offer. To open it, you have to go up on one of the cliff-like islands and get a TNT from a rundown shack. For some reason, you have to lockpick the door to get the TNT. And once you get the TNT from the shack, you have a limited amount of time to run and break the rocks that are blocking the secret cave. It's easy to cheese it because you can just drop down from the bridge and it'll open. Now my problem with these secret caves is that there's a 50 minute timer to fish in that area and you're kicked out once the time runs out. Then you have to do that whole TNT quest again and oftentimes it doesn't even show up right away. Over the course of grinding, I've lost my mind to the stupid lockpicking mechanic. What this quest should be is a daily quest where once you do it, you don't have to do it again for 24 hours. While the secret cave was still open, I used it to grind out another 10 levels to make it to the next island. While I was doing this, I was trying my hand at getting a better fishing rod. There are many fishing rods in this game and they have different chances of being pulled, like a gacha. Mystical rods are the best you can get as they usually have a rarity boost allowing for more expensive fish to catch onto your hook. I was level 28 when I got a mystical fishing rod and it was the stupidest looking one. I pulled Excalibur from just 5 or 8 pulls which is honestly pushing my luck. I went immediately to the store where you can upgrade the rod and use the money in 3 different aspects. 
hook speed, wheeling speed, and strength. Rarity chance can be upgraded as well, but with gems. While we're in the store, I can explain that you can buy spear upgrades for whale hunting. You can upgrade your backpack to store more fish, and there are special items that I don't know what they're for, but this is a place you can imagine yourself going to often. I leveled up until I was 30, and then I went to the ancient shores. I helped this big ugly giant get the fish he wanted and completed a quick quest to open a secret door to a temple. In that temple, you go into a few doors and then you're met with a puzzle. This puzzle has a 2 minute timer and essentially you gotta reflect a beam of light to a crystal by turning some mirror. Once I successfully did that, I had access to a secret pool with all the secret fishes that I regret ever doing a puzzle for. I wish the reward was more than a secret pond full of secret fish, you know? A treasure with 100 gems would be a lot better in these secret caves. I fished here while I had the time to, but then I switched up and went back to farming at the Shadow Isles. Then I got bored fishing for my levels and decided it was time to finally whale hunt. You need a fast boat for whale hunting, otherwise they'll catch up and destroy your boat. The cheapest fast boat is the speedboat for 23,000 gold, and it was easy to level it up so that it could go around 80 miles per hour. On the other hand, the spears are expensive. Some of the best spears sell for 6 figures and I don't have that type of cash on me. So I ended up buying the gladiator spear which didn't have too much damage but it was enough for me. Whale hunting in this game is simple. You ride your boat, see if there's any shark, orca, or hammerhead shark tailing you and then you bop them with your spear. I wish there was a target locking feature for the spears so I could farm them a lot easier. As it stands right now, you have to aim your cursor well enough to even hit the target while moving on a fast boat, which is not particularly easy, especially if you're going solo. What you get out of hunting these animals is meat, head, and teeth, which can be sold for lots more money than fishing. Honestly, why bother fishing when this pays so much more? The real purpose for hunting though, besides selling their parts, is to get a key. This key sells for 2k, but it is needed to summon Moby Wood, the boss of the ocean. If I wanted to end my 24 hours, I wanted to do it fighting Moby Wood. So I went whale hunting and I leveled up a bit. I got sidetracked and went to the final island, the Pharaoh's Dune, to see what was up. I did a quick little quest where I got pieces of a star from each island, which then opened up the pyramid. When you go in, it's actually an alien headquarter, and you open a door by doing a stupid wire puzzle. For the wire puzzle, you have to fill in every box and not just connect the wires, which is annoying. Once I finished that, I could enter the middle room, which is the secret pool for secret fish for this island. There's no way I was going to put myself through that whole process for a couple of alien fish. After that fiasco, I decided that hunting was the best option to spend up the last of my hours. I was hunting with a bunch of other players who were also looking for a key to fight Moby Wood. A few moments later, a player gets a key and summons Moby Wood. Now, this whale is an easy boss. It's just really finicky. If you bring her too far out, she just spawns for some reason and the boundaries to do that aren't very clear. I think she also teleports to players' boats and then does her jump attack making it twice as hard to get close to her. Her regular attack is to come up and jump on the player. If she hits the player, the player is swallowed and will be blown out a few seconds later. This never happened to me, but I didn't want to find out. She also has a special attack to watch out for, and that's her tail splash, where she sends out waves of water in the circle that will one-shot your boat if you don't dodge. I found myself being caught in one or two of these. Once she's defeated, she drops parts for her body for her players to sell. I don't know if the amount of drops depends on the damage you do, but sometimes I get one item, other times I get two. I ran the Moby Wood fight a few more times and the best I got was her teeth. But overall, a pretty cool boss fight, just a little annoying that there is no good way to tell where her boundaries due to spawn are. In the end of this run, I managed to end at level 41 with a mystical fishing rod and even a mystical pet, which I forgot to mention. The pet just gives more rarity chances. Man, for some reason, my luck on this account is just really good. Anyway, this game is okay. I wouldn't say it's my favorite game to grind because there's not too much reward in doing so, but I did enjoy the hunting. If you decide to check it out, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. 
if you want to support the channel, then consider subscribing.